guys, it's Random Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 148 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, assuming you're attempted it, let's just dive right in. So this question is a multi-step, right? So let's just read it line by line. The first line says the number of hurricanes that hit a certain house in the next 10 years is Poisson distributed with the mean 4. So I'm going to denote X as the number of hurricanes that hit and this we know is to be Poisson distributed with mean is equal to 4. Then I'm going to denote y to be the loss that is exponentially distributed exponentially distributed with mean equal to a thousand. So this is actually the loss of each hurricane. Make sense? And we're asked to find the variance of total loss and we know the law, um, total loss by the law of total variance is equal to the variance of expectation of t given x plus the expectation of variance of total probability, total losses given x. Okay, okay. So let's work on insights first. They're asking you, what is the expectation of the total loss given there were x number of hurricanes? Like intuitively, like let's say like there's like seven hurricanes, then the expectation of those seven hurricanes, the total loss is going to be the expectation of just one hurricane, each hurricane times like seven, right? If there are seven hurricanes, but we don't because we don't know n because what we don't know what's the number of hurricanes it's gonna hit, we just have to denote it by n, and then so and we the outer shell still stays the same. It's the same idea here. If they're asking you to find the variance of total amount of losses, given that there were like let's say like six hurricanes, then that's going to be equal to like six times the total six times the loss of each hurricane, right? So same idea. It's just going to be an n times the variance of single losses. So y. Alright, and then we know the expectation of y is equal to they say mean is thousand, so that we know that's thousand. For an exponential distribution, a variance of y is equal to lambda squared. So then in our case, it's going to be 1,000 squared. Plugging those in, we get variance of expectation of y, 1,000 times n, plus the expectation of n times variance, which is 1,000 squared. And now we can actually take out those 1,000 out. But when we take that 1,000 out, this actually, we have to bring it back to the variant real world instead of the variance world so we have to make sure we square it variance of n plus when we take out the thousand squared on this side it's just going to stay the same thousand squared times expectation of n i meant to say these are these are supposed to be x's i don't know why i changed my variables up i think i was trying to follow the soa but i feel like my way is a little bit better <laughs> so anyways this is x times it so then this is x expectation of x so now when we're asked to find the variance of x and expectation of x, we know x is a distribution, um, Poisson distribution, so x, expectation of x is just going to be mean. And variance of a, x is also just going to be lambda, which is equal to 4. Alrighty, putting those in, you get 4 times 1,000 squared plus 4 times 1,000 squared and you get 8 million, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!